Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. A software upgrade hampers air traffic control. The AMA inaugurates UAS for STEM. Eclipse Aviation addresses a landing gear problem. I'm Brie Cross, it is August 20th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Any of us who have used computers have probably had this happen. You install an upgrade to a program and suddenly things start to go wrong. The FAA identified a recent software upgrade at the Leesburg, Virginia High Altitude Radar Facility as the source of last Saturday's automation problems, which resulted in numerous flight cancellations and delays. The FAA provided a description of what went wrong, but to us average computer users, let's just say that supposedly deleted data did not delete. The computer tried to remember everything and when it ran out of memory, it could not perform correctly. The system was corrected by simply not using the feature that caused the problem. The FAA is working with Lockheed on a permanent solution and the company is closely examining why the issue was not identified during testing. The Academy of Model Aeronautics has launched a new program to encourage teamwork, competition, and success through a STEM-based education platform. The new UAS for STEM program will provide student teams of four to eight people with training, insurance, licensing, and equipment to compete in search and rescue challenges. Kits for the program will be available in the fall of 2015. For the first year of competition, the challenge for each team will be search and rescue based. The mission scenario is that a small group of hikers has gone missing, and while their general location is known, their exact location needs to be determined. The team has been called upon to provide rapid response using a small unmanned aircraft system that can support the search and rescue mission. Competitions will be held at the AMA flying sites in the spring of 2016. The cost for the team is $1,195, which includes everything needed for the team to complete the project and meet all competition requirements. The program will be managed by the Academy of Model Aeronautics Education Team as part of AMA Flight School. After the break, Eclipse Aviation issues important landing gear service bulletin. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Recently, an Eclipse jet experienced a failure of the left main landing gear trunnion while taxiing. An investigation and analysis by Eclipse has yielded two findings. First, it was determined that the landing gear design meets all of the requirements to provide a full service life of 20,000 landings. Secondly, an undetermined number of gear trunnions have matching inconsistencies which do not conform to the design criteria and could affect the component's service life. Eclipse has come up with a system that divides the fleet of active aircraft into three categories for the purpose of inspection and remedial action. It is critically important that Eclipse owners work with the Eclipse factory to determine where they stand in the order of inspection. Eclipse is taking extraordinary steps to make the inspection and repair process as painless as possible for the aircraft owners. All inspection and part replacements, if required, will be covered 100% by Eclipse regardless of the aircraft serial number. A plan is also being established for the reimbursement of certain other expenses incurred by the owners. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, 
highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. In previous editions of our Aero Community Update, we've introduced you to our Airborne Partnership Initiative. Our partnership is coming together and includes some incredible representatives from every aspect of aviation and aerospace. Our first opportunity to put it to a test was at EAA AirVenture this year. We joined with one of our partners, the Experimental Aircraft Association, to add a new feature to all that goes on at AirVenture. We called it the AirVenture Innovation Preview, or simply the AIP. Working closely with EAA, we arrived early at AirVenture to prepare our prototype AIP for its metaphorically speaking test flight. To say that it flew would be an understatement. It took off like NASA's SLS with all rockets burning. About 100 aviation-related businesses contacted us to participate in the program. Out of these initial contacts, 31 made the grade to be part of the AIP first flight. The result was two hours of professionally produced high-definition video divided into two segments. The AIP program has been viewed more than 25,000 times, and to say it was a resounding success is an understatement. After these messages, the Blue Angels ground team responds to an auto accident. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI-340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Seven members of the Blue Angels maintenance and support team were first on the scene to a single vehicle automobile accident in Gary, Indiana on August 13th. They aided in the rescue of the driver and continued to assist until emergency equipment arrived. The pilot involved in an accident in California on August 6th, resulting in two fatalities, reportedly had a history of issues with the FAA. The pilot had lost his airman privileges on three occasions before the accident and was facing a fourth revocation proceeding. Bell Helicopter has completed the final delivery of eight Bell 412 EP helicopters to the Philippine Department of National Defense. The eight aircraft are to be used for combat, utility, and VIP transport operations, as well as relief efforts. NASA has selected eight university-led proposals to study innovative early-stage technologies that will address high-priority needs of America's space program. NASA says these proposals have the potential to yield significant rewards for space exploration. Gamma has named Lauren Hartland as the association's director of safety and regulatory affairs. Gamma's Pete Bunce said, quote, her impressive legal and policy skills will be a tremendous asset as we continue to seek common sense regulations for general aviation manufacturers throughout the world, end quote. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Last week, the final pair of five sets of wings, built at EAA AirVenture 2015 by volunteers and AirVenture attendees, were shipped to a waiting EAA chapter. The set of RV-12 wings, containing the signatures of each person who pulled a rivet on the project, have been sent to EAA Chapter 27 in Meriden, Connecticut. The RV-12, when completed, qualifies as a light sport aircraft and will be eligible to be flown by a sport pilot. The EAA Gift Flight Project provides a platform for attendees at AirVenture 
to actually participate in building a component of an airplane, and it gives the EAA chapters receiving the wings ways to build more interest during the airplane completion of the project. The arrival of the wings at individual EAA chapters begins a two-year countdown to complete the aircraft and to bring it back to Oshkosh for EAA AirVenture 2017. Each chapter that receives the wings will be responsible for raising the funds necessary to complete the aircraft. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.